All right, here's a little flashback on this day in 1973, one of the biggest ABA trades went down. Julius Irving was traded by the Virginia Squires to the New York Nets. Dr. J was widely regarded as the greatest player of his time and went on to win three MVPs with the Nets before being traded to the Sixers three years later. But on the Nets, he was one of a kind. Over the Nets' last three seasons of existence in the ABA, Julius Irving was named MVP three times, won multiple ABA championships and multiple ABA scoring titles to go along with the 1976 slam, de slam dunk contest. Across those three seasons, Dr. J averaged 28, 10, and 5, plus multiple steals and blocks in just under 40 minutes per game. So, 51 years ago, Dr. J was traded and the rest was history. So let's relive some of his best moments from his incredible Hall of Fame career, shall we? 1987, falling out of bounds, banks it home from three. <laughs> yeah, he practiced that. <laughs> Possibly. And Cole I don't, know if you can, I don't know if you can practice falling. 1977, <laughs> game seven against the Seas, and the Dr. Dunks. How? Poor Dave Counts. I'll show that. <laughs> 1986, Dr. J throws it up from beyond half court to beat the Mavs at the buzzer. He was also the closer in the free agent meeting with Paul George this year. Flew in, was a couple hours late really? due to weather delays, and Paul George saw him was like, yep, I'm coming. Oh, no, come on. This is oh. 1983. Cradle dunk. Many have tried to do best, this dunk. No one, one does it like him. One of the best in-game dunks in history. Yes. And, of course, the iconic up-and-under layup against the Lakers in the 1980 NBA Finals. We saw that in, in winning time, right? <laughs>